Well, atezolizumab is also approved for uh, lung cancer uh, when they were resected without neoadjuvant. The real uh, question in the field right now is that it's, it appears to me that the benefit of uh, neoadjuvant chemo immunotherapy is, is dramatic, as shown in the Checkmate 816 study. What we saw in this AACR's presentation of the Aegean study is that um, neoadjuvant chemo IO with adjuvant IO is also a positive for event-free survival. But it wasn't strikingly different than um, what you saw with Checkmate 816 with no adjuvant immunotherapy. So the main question in the field really now is who needs adjuvant immunotherapy? And the LCMC3 study suggests uh, to me that uh, neoadjuvant immunotherapy alone followed by adjuvant chemo and adjuvant IO yields similar survival outcomes as you see in a G in N816. If you give neoadjuvant chemo IO, like an 816 or a GN, it's unclear to me that a GN um, suggests that adjuvant IO is important. It's a whole year of therapy that's quite expensive, and the early results from a GN are not much different from what you saw with Checkmate 816.